Welcome back guys. In this episode we'll start with take a look at the generator. We need to switch this up to a multi-rib rem instead. Unfortunately, the original one when I swapped out did not work as it should. And I had to go back and add a shims in between because it did touch the metal frame of the generator. And that sorted it. Starting to look at where to mount this generator. Or alternator actually. I start by removing the original tensioner. Problem here is the water pump. This bend here cannot be as it is. It needs to be either forward or backward. Up or down. Because you have this side here. And I'm not going to move this pipe because it's used actually to strengthen uh, everything up. So we need to remove this one and see how it is. And also there is some play here. And the bearing sounds like it's shot. Back to the alternator mounting plate again. A quick paper template. Cutting it out from 3mm steel. And then transfer the mounting point to the holes itself. And of course drilling. The hole for the generator mount, and marking out the position where to bend it as well. And then I bend it. And yes, the whole table is moving around.
and making sure that it sits straight as it should be. I'm also checking the level itself compared to the engine. Then I go back with the belt itself to check so it aligns properly. And it looks pretty good. I'm still testing a different variant. And this is with the water pump installed. Though no tensioner right now, so I added a tensioner. And as you can see, the belt itself is way too close to the tensioner. So I have to rethink the position. I raised the generator or alternator up quite a bit, so now it sits just below the intake. And that seemed to work a lot better. I actually did another mount after this, but the third try it went really well and I think I'm happy with it. The top mount itself is a static mount of course, because we have this dynamic uh, tensioner that sits with uh, the rhythm part. Basically there are two holes on the block itself, so one of them are a static pen. Now back to the water pump again. I'm cleaning it up a little bit before actually starting to cut it into pieces. Unfortunately I don't have any video footage of me welding this back together. Uh, but basically it was a pain to weld it back because of how dirty this aluminium is. I basically attach or reattach this in 90 degree angle you could say. And before you say it won't work, it actually have worked quite for quite a long time now. I have now pushed this all the way in so it sits as close as possible here. And on the other side as you can see here we have this big gap here. I don't want that big gap. Um, so we're actually going to Remove that and get this tighter.
little ding, a little one that I missed. Apart from that, it's pretty straight. From filing on top, it will be perfect. For me, that is. 